Hey y'all doing this Rob Burnham meet your preacher man R and B and this is another episode of Richard TV nine one one. This time I'm doing another episode of movie reviews and this time I'm reviewing Top Gun Maverick. And what happens in this movie is it starts off with uh Maverick, he is testing this new high tech jet. And the testing is to get the jet to Mach ten without it pretty much exploding. Well, the colonel is coming in, Colonel Kane, and he's about to shut down Maverick. Maverick's project. So Maverick gets in the jet before the Colonel gets there, is able to get it to Mach 10. He was supposed to just stop at Mach 10, but he went further to about Mach 10.3 or whatever. And the uh, the jet exploded and tore to pieces and Maverick had to eject and landed into this small town uh, town. Then when he gets back, he sent back to uh, Top Gun. Because he if he didn't go to Top Gun, he was going to be grounded and never fly again. But Iceman, who is a high star general, I think in this movie now, uh, sends him back to Top Gun to train elite group of pilots that have done graduated Top Gun of their class to do this pretty much impossible mission. And what the mission is is they got to go to this. I, I can't remember what the country is. But they go to this country, or are going to go to this country to uh, blow up this this base that has all it is going to store all this uranium, and it's going to hurt the allies of the United States that are going to be affected by this. So the Top Gun cadets has to go in and blow up this base before that happens. Well, what happens is is Maverick starts training them, and Rooster, who is Goose's son, is still kind of tipped off at man. Uh, Ma uh, Maverick. Uh, I don't know why I said Bandit, but Maverick. And the reason he's ticked off at Maverick is because Maverick pulled his papers when he first went to the Naval Academy, and he's never forgiven him for that. But the reason that Maverick does this is because Rooster's mother didn't want Rooster flying, and that was her dying wish that he not become a pilot. So Maverick was trying to uh, keep that wish alive. But Rooster does become a pilot, and Throughout the movie, they're trying to do this practice course, and ain't none of them getting it. And Iceman winds up dying from cancer, and Maverick is grounded again. Well, Maverick gets in and does the course without permission, and shows that it can be done. And Maverick becomes the the team lead of this mission. So it's Maverick, Rooster, Phoenix, and Flyboy. I think is his co cosign. Anyway, they go in, they do the mission, uh, Maverick shoots the first missiles into the the hatch that's above the base, it goes through, and then Rooster comes in behind them and shoots and destroys the base, they get out of there, and then they start getting missiles shot at them, and they're able to escape the missiles, but there's these uh, enemy jets that come in, and is about to kill Rooster, well, shoot Rooster down, and Maverick sacrifices himself to save Rooster. Maverick winds up getting shot now. Rooster goes back to save Maverick. They both uh, get shot down, so they go to the uh, airstrip of this enemy camp or whatever, and they steal one of the old F-15s uh, that was flown in Top Gun, the original Top Gun. Well, it was the same kind of plane or whatever. So they steal that, and they're able to escape and get back to the base of the naval carrier in time. And Hainman, who is pretty much the Iceman version 2.0, is, is saves them from getting attacked by the enemy ships before they make it to the naval base. And Maverick and Rooster make it back safely. And other than that, that's all that really happened. My question for y'all is, now that Maverick and Rooster is back on good terms, what's going to happen with that? As always, Rob Burnham, I'm going to keep Richard Menor. I'm just saying that. <laughs>